Good morning, everyone. This is Chrissy from Solstice ATR and Balkan Capital Research. How's everybody on a Sunday? Hope everybody's safe at home from the coronavirus and everybody's doing well. Be safe. I hope we get out of this soon. I put the combination of the four instruments together, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average to kind of give you an idea. We are from, you know, from the prior high as the high that we had in February 12th, all the way down to March, I believe, uh, 23rd, where this was the low for the year. And if you notice, we created an H pattern. We couldn't continue high. We came back to the 50% range from here to here. Then we eventually broke that range and we fell down to here on March 23rd. We retraced one third of the move to the 38.2 Feb. If you notice, this is my support. This is my high. This is my midpoint. And we hit the 38 cent Feb. And we fell back down on Friday, Thursday. A Wednesday inside range we had a Monday up Tuesday down inside day then we had the gap down then uh, on Tuesday gap up then we came back on Friday range bound we stayed in this box this area here can be considered to be a balance area to continue lower to go side action like a ping pong or break out of this area and go back to the top Everybody's looking at the 1923 on the S&P 500 and due to the reason is because they think this pattern is going to continue lower. What I usually say to everybody since this is a balanced area, trade what you see, not what you think. It's very important that you don't end up on the wrong side of the trade because what I'd like to show you is going back to history. 20 years out, I mean, instead of one year, we go um, 20 years. We're not going to go to a max. We're going to do a monthly chart and push OK. And once I do that, you can see from the 2009-2008, and that's the 2000-2001, you know, the 9-11, we came down, continued back up. And eventually in 2008, in October, we fell down till 2009. It took us till 2004 to recuperate on the combination of those instruments and we headed back higher and since then we retraced part of the election when Donald Trump got elected in in November of 2017 we had a nice move up we retraced 100% of the move we below the 50 simple moving average and we came back up. So what I'd like to do is break this into a four hour chart and break down S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell and the Dow for us to understand where we are heading from. So let's take a look at the first one that I'd like to look at is slash RTY. And in the small cap, since you know the February uh, 21st, uh, 22nd, we continued lower. We have this down channel. We had a dominant channel coming down here. We came back to this area, tapped into it, couldn't keep up. The Russell was a little bit weaker. We fell back down into the area and we couldn't, you know, we couldn't sustain this up move. We had a three day balance, but the Russell is a little weaker. I'm looking to see if the Russell out of this triangle can snap back to the up channel. Of this area here so the reason why I showed the Russell because it is the weakest out of them all we have a dominant down channel in an open corner we have an up channel and we have a midpoint I'm looking if we clear the 1150 look for the upside in the Russell so that way we don't end up on the wrong side of the trades so let's take a look at now the Dow YM and YM I have a similar pattern. We had this dominant channel down in here, which is still up there. We have not been able to tap into it. But if I draw one through here, we broke out through the first one. We had this up move. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, we had this down move. We came back up, consolidated, trying to create that rounded bottom. We still had those three days range bound. If we can get out of this range bound to the upside, that would be great. If we fall down, it's going to be an H pattern like we did earlier 
when we first week when we fell down and or we can you know go side bound to either come out of this range up to the upside once again or to the downside let's take a look at the nq this is the nasdaq 100 the nasdaq 100 looks a little bit better than the s p and the dow if you notice this dominant channel was broken we broke it and we continued higher we had this up range we had three days side action we're still in an uptrend but as long as we don't break the second dominant channel, we have this one. I drew this one to show you, hey, here's the peaks of this area. If we can get above this yellow, we can continue up to this area where we broke out of it. Let's just look at it a little bit more in detail. If you notice, this is the shoulder. If this is the cup and we can continue up, that would be great. Remember, the NASDAQ is holding, you know, more concentrated portfolio than the then uh, small cap, which is, you know, a little bit more weaker. Usually the small cap is the uh, the one that starts to move down and starts to move back up. So let's now take a look at the ES, the S&P 500. If you noticed from uh, basically uh, January, uh, February 19, 20, 21st, we fell down. We created this down move. We created an H and eventually we fell down. We came back, retested it, couldn't break above that 29, 14, 29, 20 area. We fell further down to get a low in uh, March 23rd, I believe that day it was 23rd, 22nd, that new low. Then we continued higher. We had the last five days, you know, up move Monday, Tuesday down, Wednesday side action down. Uh, Thursday up and Friday we had the inside day. What I'd like to see out of this move is basically coming out of these two chant this range bound area because the highs of this area is around 25, let's call it 30, and the bottom is about 25, 24. If we can, you know, not break down through this channel and fall down, we can come back up and clear that area. We continue higher. If we cannot hold this area, we fall back to the bottom. So remember, we're going to trade what we see, not what we think. And what I'd like to do is use the volume profile to show you how guys to use it on a monkey boy. So let's come in. Before I do that, let me do the gold GC. GC. I'd like to show that pattern in there too. That's a very nice pattern on gold. If you notice, this is the shoulder. This is the head of it because we triple topped. You notice that. And we fell down to the 50% retracement. I wanted actually the 61 area, you know, come back into this area where that shoulder was and that consolidation. We didn't. We turned at the 50. We're coming back up. If we cannot clear 1675 to continue higher, watch this coming back in. So trade what you see. It, it looks like it's a forming a head and shoulder. You can see it. If it doesn't come through, because this is, if you consider this is the shoulder. This is the head of it, and if this is going to create the shoulder, it has to break through here to continue higher above 1675. If not, watch the 1625 if it fails and the 1607 comes back down. So gold has a setup. Let's take a look at CL. Um, this is about the OPEC and the Russian, and they, got, they were supposed to do that on Monday, Tuesday, the meeting. Unfortunately, they postponed it. It's going to be... Uh, a visual meeting between everybody by uh, Thursday this coming week. So keep an eye on oil because of their production and stuff. If they're going to slow down production, this snapped up on Thursday and Friday, and we eventually broke that $27, 26 area. Let's call it 27.50. If we can stay above this area, it can continue to the prior the minor channel here to the 200 SMA. And eventually fill this gap if you notice this gap the high of it the low of it is 4105 and the higher this candle in the overnight is 3635 so that would be an area that you have to keep an eye on if we break above it and what you can do is if you create a box you edit this box and you know how you see the dates here we can go all the way let's say till the 30th for example and that way you can extend those areas and you push ok and what would happen, this will extend to the, oh, we didn't extend it right. We didn't do the April edit. I'm sorry. Why am I thinking? Am I April 4.15? Let's just do that till 4.15. 
That way we can keep an eye if it's going to break up and continue. If it's not, it will fall back down. So you have an area that we need to come back to in the 200 SMA and down this channel if the meeting goes well on the production and the slowdown of it. And that's the trend coming in from February, basically 1920, all the way down to the low of March 20, I believe around March the 20 and March 30th so if we can stay sustained not falling through the seven I was looking for the 1760 to buy a big block but unfortunately I wasn't able to and it, this we got that breakout I mean this is a momentum because of the Trump when he tweeted said hey to Russia and OPEC and the Saudis hey we want you to guys to slow down the production so we can get the prices of oil back to st stabilization because anything below $35 a barrel they don't make a profit I know we do have a lot of inventory there's a lot of ships vessels in the ocean that are old old one just holding oil in it so in order to use it they have to do something with it so that's a big thing that we're going to see if oil is going to react on Thursday's meeting next week so keep an eye on that one and let's go to the ES this is the ES and if you notice the ES is in a down ch channel we came back up and we had the last two three days in this area um, this was the Monday move this is the Tuesday move back down we gap down this is the Wednesday side action Thursday up move and Friday side action down to up and I'll zoom in in this area we are in the bottom of this channel we are just coming into that area as well if we can break you know that high of 25 30 area look for the top and if we fall down through the 24 24 look for the downside or side price action like a ping pong back and forth until they make a decision in which way the market is heading so what I'm going to do go to style I want to show you how to use the monkey bars by looking at the volume profile this is on a 184 uh, four hours chart so instead of doing the four hour chart what you do you come down here and I'm going to show you how the price action in the last five days happened we're going to minimize it this was the price action from the, the Tuesday action so you can see the range man we had that move up on Monday we had an inside day on in the upper distribution on uh, this is the Monday close this is the Tuesday close then we gap down we open and we fall down we close here then on Thursday we open here we close up here then on Friday we open here and we close where inside the range we close it right in the middle of that distribution if you look at the pox are almost identical but on Friday with the puck was a little bit lower but the sentiment that's the green color that's the sentiment where most time was spent this is the value area high this is the value area low of each volume profile and that's where most price and was spent so the time the time is this one and the sentiment the price was here if we can clear this upper distribution we go higher if we fall through this lower distribution then we fall lower so what we're going to do is trade what we can and what I'd like you to, to understand is looking at the technicals in the market due to three things. Um, nobody looks at the ticks, the bank, or the breadth of the market, or the levels, or the price levels. Price levels is an instrument where, uh, where basically people look at it and they think that's the, where most things are done. Usually you have to understand the time and volume is very important in the direction of the move to the upside or the downside in order to trade it and what I'd like to show you is price action when there are buyers and sellers like in here there was buyers and sellers on both sides but we had a three-day balance so and when we fell through you know the Tuesday price action we opened right at that lower distribution where we closed and we eventually fell down to close here then on Wednesday we open here to close up here Thursday then on Wednesday we open here then we went all the way down here inside the range and we closed right in the middle of this range so price and volume is very important so understand how to use it it will help you in trading so let's go back to the candles we're going to go from monkey bars back to standards 
and what I'd like to do is just go in to show you this is the down distribution you can see it this move up I'll just zoom in so you can see it from here and I'll change it to a daily chart this is the overnight that gray area is the overnight the black is the time price and action that we have during the market hours when we fell down we came back up we continued side action so if I look at it on the daily I want you to understand this that's very important that we either head to the upside or downside and if you notice my support and resistance when we came down this is the high this is the low when we fell down we retraced back to the 38.2 Feb we are in consolidation this last week was an up week as an inside day on that gap down so what I'd like to show you is understanding the candle move up side action drop down side action inside value so in order to break out of this area if I take the overnight off it'll show you that we are in a downtrend but we have an uptrend here if we can clear the 38 we're going to continue higher if we fall through here in the 24 area look for the th uh, 80 area 86 then the 53 and eventually fall down this is a 38.2 fib on the monthly chart from going back till you know 2008 where I'm going to show you the time frame this is the time frame we go from daily um, we go from daily we go 20 year distribution the day we change it to a month and we push OK and let's zoom down all the way so you can understand it we're still in a down this is the 2000 2001 we came back to uh, 2003 by 2004 2005 we recuperated we had the 2008 then the real estate bubble we fell down and we went straight up and we came back to where a little bit before the elections where Trump was you know elected in November we didn't touch the November election this was the area we're still in an up channel holding up if we're going to continue higher we got to watch the trend and you know the technical changes as long as we don't lose 24 hundred and 23 86 2400 this is the channel we come back to the 38.2 fib then eventually the 50 and the 116 SMA if they want it all the way down here if not look for a possibility of reversal because most people when someone uh, or what usually happen when you expect something to happen and it doesn't it's usually there may be you know people looking at it oh I'm on the wrong side and that's what usually happens in most of the trades um, and what I'd like to tell you usually when this happens people use Elliott waves I don't use Elliott waves I use channels and Fibonacci's to help me in understanding technicals and trend and hope this was helpful for you look forward to seeing you on discord my handle on uh, discord is Z O U Z O U number uh, 3493 and on uh, Twitter it's Chrissy Farah look forward to seeing you take care be safe and see you Monday morning